Hi, good morning guys. This will be a basic tutorial on how to create a user in Mixtiva. So the first thing that you'll need is request a user license. Let me just make this one bigger. Okay. So what you'll need is the basic NexOS professional additional user then the next thing you'll need is the recording license of course if you don't need it it's fine uh, most probably the recording license is around six dollars each so uh, you're going to send this request to your sales manager so most of the times it's for example support at nextiva Dot com but uh, what they will do is pass it on to your sales manager so it's best that you give it to your sales manager depends on the email or the person's email whatever they gave you at nextiva.com and then the body of your message will be something like hi I would like to request for an additional user license so something like this needed is one next OS professional additional user then one next OS call recording thanks so much and of course don't forget to include your account number your pin and then your complete name or the authorized user's name send the email to these guys all right so after sending you log in to your your website idp.nextiva.com you'll be redirected to your dashboard once you're there go to your administration tools page so now to add say a bunch of users something like this you'll need licenses for each of them right the base user for the admin account which i am logged in right now is different from the additional user for your agents so once you're here administration tools page click on users well basically you'll need to create teams first so teams go back here okay create a team let's say agent team well, I, I already have that one created, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be creating one for you. Agent Team 2. And then you'll be assigning them, or you'll be assigning the users to those teams. There you go. But if you don't have a specific user yet, you can create them. So I'll create this one for you. There, a team has been created. Also, I'll be creating a role or a permission to that specific user create a role the role name is for agent team 2 there you go and then what type of records and access are you going to allow them so for the accounts are you going to allow them you can I'll be setting them to on the same for contacts the same for leads the same for products opportunities and case access but for the leads I would like them to only see the leads assigned to them so I would don't want them to view everything instead I would like to assign depending on their email user ID so I'll be setting that one to user only are they allowed to add and then edit yeah sure but for their assigned owner and uh, I mean uh, assigned to their user email ID only but for now I would like to set them to everything or are you asking them to delete or are they allowed to delete I would like to say no so I don't want them to delete anything so the agents are not allowed to delete leads in the system only the admins can once you're done with that go to the next tab like applications are they allowed to use Nextiva analytics well if you're not familiar with the Nextiva analytics this is um, the, the page where you can download the call logs the call recordings well, not really the call recordings, but the total calls 
that were made per day or per per week or per month of by the agent. So uh, if you are going to allow them, click on on or turn it on. But right now I don't want my agents to see them. Only the admins can. So I'll turn it off. Mixtiva surveys turned off. They don't really need that. For the admin setting, are they allowed to see the accounts and billing? Of course not. So click off. People, uh, would you like them to manage users, teams, something like that? No. For the data, are they allowed to import or export? Of course, no. Only the admins can do that. Communications, off. Surveys, I mean, customer journeys, off. There, click save afterwards. Yeah. Once you're done creating the role and then the team, a role with the name already exists. So uh, I already have that one, so it's fine. I'll just click on cancel. So just make sure if you wanted to set permissions to a specific user, you need to create a role first, a team, and then the next one is the user. So I'll be creating a user here. Let's say um, agent one, uh, team, team one, uh, agent one from team one. Depends on you if you would like to na name the specific user as their first name and then last name. But in, in the end, uh, sometimes we have here uh, users, they get changed regularly. So it's best that you set the first name to user1, uh, something like that. So the email will be specific. So um, something like email user1 at your domain.com. Yeah, something like that. So if uh, the agent resigns, you, you can just pass this user account to them, just change the password, and that's it. You don't have to create a new user. So the role will be the role that you just created earlier. Right now I have an agent role, that one, the team, agent team, their location will be location one. Well, most of the time it's the default location one, so it's fine. And then you set the specific time zones for that user. I'll be setting that one to Eastern US Canada and that's the time you can add the license you uh, remember we created an email earlier or um, a sample email that was supposed to be sent to your sales manager or next table support once that one is confirmed and you have already approved the quote that they're gonna send back the user should appear here I mean the licenses should appear here so add the license here the specific license that you need to assign to a standard user will be this one. Exibo Cloud Communications Professional Additional User. The base user is for the admin. This is for the standard user. Select that one. Also, if you needed to assign this uh, user a phone number, because right now I'm inside the CRM page, they can only access the CRM from here. And if they needed to access the CRM, and have a phone account they need this user license and if their phone whenever they make calls they need a recording you, they, you, all, you will need this next OS call recording license all right so once you have these two assigned click on create okay so once that one is created a user uh, I mean a welcome message from Nextiba will be sent to the user's email which is this one all you have to do is uh, click on the next button or uh, uh, proceed or get started and then they'll be asking you to enter their password. So once you're done entering the password, that's all good. Click on um, save and what they'll need to do or the user needs to do is go to idp.nextiva.com, enter their email here for example. Uh, email user1 at your domain.com they log in hit next enter their um, preferred password if they, in case they forgot they can change it here forget password and then it will be sent to this user's email okay the same thing um, once you've changed your email password your I mean, your user login password you can log into your next diva phone account So the next thing, oh, so you've already created your user account, I mean your agent's user account for the CRM, also for the phone they have the login, but if you would like to also set up the recording for the, the user, 
you don't have capabilities for that but you you have the capability to request one or have it configured by Nextiva support because um that's their that's their job you have to communicate with them so in order to do that you have to go to here nextiva.com slash support let me just uh, close this first once you're on this page click on chat now click on general support enter the email address of the admin admin your domain dot com the phone number that you have I'll just uh, enter a 10 digit phone number here and then your question or your request say um, I would like to see the recordings of this user which you created earlier uh, email user1 at your domain.com under my recorder login because there's a different page for where you get the recordings for your agents so under my recorder login which is say um, admin or let's say xtiva.admin and then don't forget your account number your pin and then the name because each time you request something from Nextiva you, it, they're gonna ask for this uh, three items and then email us or sometimes if they're online or because at the moment they're offline you're gonna have to email them but once they're online you can just uh, immediately send this to them a robot will answer until um, a real person uh, communicates with you so right now you just email this to them and then they'll call you back all right once the recording is set up, as long I mean, as long as this uh, message is understood, everything is communicated properly. They're gonna do it. If they can't understand your message or they need verification or confirmation, they'll call you back. And once your um, user's recording is set up, you go to recorder next uh, recorder .com. Their servers um, have different different areas right now. Uh, they're going to create a recorder portal for your Nextiva account. It depends. Uh, right now, I have recorder12.nextiva.com for you. It may be recorder13.nextiva.com or recorder14.nextiva.com. It depends on the load of the server. If it's already full, they're going to give you another link. So the, they're, they're also going to give you a user admin login. Also, the username will be dependent on what you give them. So, for example, if you'd like something like a user.admin they'll give it to you it's fine and then the password will be default and then you'll be changing them in the future so click on login after that one you're all set so you already have a user account for your agent you'll have a recording set up all good the, uh, the agent can use it if you find this uh, video helpful please give me a like and then subscribe for more updates also if you wanted the tutorial for the recording portal I have one in my next video playlist Go ahead and take a look. You have a great day. Bye for now.